Kondayan and welcome to the Project Power. My name is Gunnar, I'm an Icelander, live in Iceland and this is my podcast vlog, talk a lot thingy, um, where I talk about yarn, talk about knitting, crocheting and everything fiber related when I learn those things because fiber is really interesting and the things that people do with fibers is just some of the things that people do is just mind-boggling. Um, yes, that's it. I talk mostly about knitting and crocheting. Um, in the past days, mostly about knitting because I've been knitting way more than I've been crocheting, which is a bit of a shame. But hey, there we are. Oopsie. Um, this angle is really, really weird. Excuse me a moment. Yeah, I like that better. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there, but eh, anyway, still learning, still learning. I've been doing this since, what, for a few years by now, and uh, I'm still learning where to point my camera. <laughs> but yeah, <sighs> I am hair done today. <laughs> like, I am filming this at a little bit past two in the afternoon. Usually this is the time when I start uploading the video. Um, yeah, I went and saw my hairdresser just this morning and we had a lot of things to talk about. So I'm a little late today and that is fine because that is that's how the cookie crumbles. Um, I'm really happy with my hair. Got a little bit of splatters because we were talking so much we forgot to put like Vaseline or something on my head and that's that's fine, I'm gonna take a shower in <laughs> later today, so let's, let's just this once. <laughs> We're gonna have little brown splotches on my forehead. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with how my hair turned out. We increased the bluntness, um, evened the colors up a little bit, and so I'm a little bit more happier. Um, she did like brush my hair a little bit straight. Um, different because usually my hair naturally goes this way so she decided to go this way and I feel a little bit weird <laughs> yeah so anyway knitting and crocheting um sadly I haven't still been doing any crocheting which is such a shame because crochet is so nice like I mean, like knitting. Sometimes you just feel like knitting, and sometimes you just feel like crocheting. Currently, I just feel like knitting, so... <laughs> mm, well, I feel like knitting. Um, like usual, I do more thinking about knitting these days than I do knitting. Mostly because I've been trying to catch on, on my reading, like last year. 2021 was a horrendous reading year for me, so I put myself the challenge this year to read way more. And I've almost surpassed the amount of books that I read just in, you know, in, in a month and a half about as I did the entire year of last year. So I'm already pretty pleased with myself. Uh, that means I've been knitting a little bit less. Um, I have knitted a little bit more with my <sighs> colorful scarf. Look how far I've gotten. Um, I was planning to finish the third cake but I'm um, as you can see didn't quite work out but can you see the wonderful wonderful color combinations in this particular cake like I love the color combination so I'll come forward so far in the cakes but something about these colors like this lovely lovely sea foamy green tones with this like dusty pinks and um uh, more like beige soft type of almost yellowish type of um, white. This color combination is just, I'm in love with it. I want, I actually want to find um, like either wool yarn like Icelandic Lope or something in comparable colors and do a project with with that because this color combination, like this is another thing that I absolutely adore about getting cakes is because the color combinations are most, very very often type of color combination that I personally would not pick because I'm a scary cat and I like to be safe so but cakes aren't safe like someone has picked out all the colors and in my opinion most of the time they just turn out so fun like look at this this cake the colors just so nice and colorful and just love it and the first cake 
love it um but yeah these colors in particular something about them is just i kind of love them um so yeah the plan was to finish the third cake so i could get started on the fourth one because it's all in these pinks and purples um really looking forward to that one and um but you know doesn't always turn out the thing, you know, things don't always turn out the way that we planned them. But that's life. Um, the other thing that I really, really, really want to get started on today, because I keep talking about this, this to be pressure, and I just need to stop talking and start doing. Um, because I really, really, really want to get my hands on this yarn. Um, my hands aren't, uh, the skin isn't as rough as it has been in the past days and the uh, weird, weird, like, boom that I got last week remember when I told you about that when my skin just um, split <laughs> it was, really wasn't that nice it has been healing pretty well actually and uh, so I can actually pick up like the projects that I'm working on and it isn't catching on every single fiber like it cuts a little bit but not nearly as much as it did in the past week so <sighs> this is like one of the very very few honestly drawbacks about working with wool is when your skin gets so rough that every single fiber just catches I know I've been rambling on and on and on about this but it's so uncomfortable when you just want to work on something and it's just it's kind of painful <laughs> and it doesn't feel like it should be but it is but yeah so continuing on and I should be able to finish ah, at least today right so hopefully start on the pink one tomorrow um cast on for the sweater because i really really want to wear a sweater that i make myself and not a store bought one like this like i've had this one for years and the main reason i bought it is because of the sleeves like they got this trumpet fluty type of thing going on and it's fine it's fine it's okay um but it's really thin this is fine on like a weird day like this when it's cold but not cold but it's really not warm but it's not you know it's one of those weird days when it is just temperature is like nee, 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 nee. so you don't really know what you want to wear so it's fine for that but like for Icelandic summer I want this <laughs> I want my own so that's that and the plan is to, as I said, cast that on hopefully tonight. Um, I do have enough hand lotion, so I'm going to keep on drowning my hands in lotion. Like, <sighs> So that's, that's, that should work out. And then another thing that I really, really want to work on is I found one of my ice yarns, um, my Cakes Angor. I'm not sure if they sell it anymore. Like, I've been good and not going on to the Ice Yarns webpage because, dear lord, if I do, then I will just fall into temptation. Like, I have no control when self-control when it comes to yarn. I want more. I don't need more. But I always find something that I get curious about and I want to try and I want to test out. But then I have so much yarn that I don't really have time to... So instead, I'm going to try and show up my steps. But again, I don't know if they have this anymore and i'm scared to check the webpage because i know i'm gonna fall for it but my cakes angora i absolutely adore these colors they are so i mean they're more autumn but they can also work as icelandic spring because it this kind of reminds me of like um iceland waking back up and it doesn't really want to but it's time to wake up <laughs> um, so I've been thinking I really want to work with this one because it's been it's been a long time since I bought it um, let's see they are 20% Angora 20% wool 6% acrylic 200 grams 1100 meters 
and um, three millimeter or US size five knitting needles. And Like, I know I have a plan. I have a planner. I have a list of things that I want to be starting to work on. But then I look at this and I'm like, mm, that. <laughs> Plans are so nice because you can then just ignore them. This is why it's called the project pile. Because instead of like the, the, the project planner, because, you know, something like that, because I may make plans, but I don't necessarily plan to follow the plans. <laughs> we have a word for that in Icelandic, I'm not going to repeat that. Instead, um, <laughs> um, like this book. Segway, I know how to do that. But I like I bought this book in... Got it in when did I get it? Either in December or January, and I cannot remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But it's this nice lace, one skin wonders. I do have the other ones. And um, because I also collect books. I don't just collect yarn, I also collect books. Because, listen, there are so many, like, patterns that are right up my alley, like, so many shawls and scarves and i'm wondering like do i need any more of those not really but like i keep every single time i open this book i open up on this one and the yarn for this is a super kit mohair silk and lurex blend so it is what's it called it's called s charles luna I think it is over here. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, never seen it. Should probably Google it. But um, it looks really, really nice and soft. So I was thinking about something like either this call or a scarf or something with this yarn because this would be so nice to wrap around yourself. Like either in autumn or spring or just Icelandic summer, Arctic summer, that would be probably really nice. <laughs> because you can never know with summer up here. Like we never know if we are actually going to get a summer for like a single afternoon or whether we're going to be like cold. <laughs> that has happened. Those have been pitiful summers. But if it's going to be a pitiful summer, then I would rather have you know, a well-stocked um, collection of shawls and scarf to reach for because that would probably just save my summer. Mm, so yeah, I really, really want something either... Well, I'm not sure about the cowl because I'm not really used to wearing cowls. Like, a little bit, you know, like a little bit... Once it strains... Ooh! This one's cute too. Put little colors in it. Ooh. I mean, there are so many lovely, lovely patterns. And this would probably be better with something that's a little bit... Um, a little bit... What, what should I want to say? Um, yeah, woolly. Like, Madeleine Toss Prairie, 100% Superwash Marine Wool. There are so many yarns that I just have no idea what they are. Um, but as I said, I have a lot of yarn, particularly from ice yarns, that I would really, really like to get my hands just into and start working on them. Because they deserve to, like, be used and, you know, to have something made out of them. <sighs> there are so many things I want to do. But yeah. I really, really like this book. It has so many cute things, like baby stuff. So many, many cute baby stuff. There's a really, really cute little, like a cardigan or something over here. Over top. Listen, I keep flipping past you whenever I open this book. And then when I want to show it, 
There. Go on. There we go. That one. Look how cute that is. Like really simple and like you look at this it like oh yeah it's a heart. But like so cute. It's a better picture. It's got like all over the border. Um, personally, I don't know any children, but sometimes it's like, you know what, I kind of just want to make something adorable like that. Ooh, it's table mat. I might actually make something like that because I do have a circular table that might need some little bit. That's all. Pretty cool. Um, this original one is made from viscous linen. How much you want to bet that I do have a viscous alignment blend somewhere in my collection? Chances are pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I have so much yarn um, that I can't really justify buying anymore. Like, I've probably been saying this since last year, and then I fall for it again, like with the hobby. But I know, I'm having so much fun. This is so fun. So yeah, I really want to find something in this book. Like I want to actually use this book to make something with my Angora. And um, well, there's, it's probably going to be a shawl because I'm just a shawlaholic. Like I just love shawls. So yeah. I'm just wondering how insane I must be. <laughs> but the good thing is that I, at least I'm not alone in it because I know there's a lot of people who are just like me. Um, Barely get one thing finished and then start another one and another one and another one because your brain just keeps running. Because I know, like, either I finish it or I have to put it to the side for a little while and then pick it up again. Maybe not always on camera, but I do pick them up again eventually. Like, there's a project that's been sitting there for a little while, but hey. So, yeah, that should be pretty much it. From me this weekend um i'm just really really happy with my hair <laughs> and um yeah that's, you know what that's good enough for me this week <laughs> um i will hopefully see you again last next weekend and um take care okay let's bless.